I'm just going to talk about the elephant in the room so people don't have to like comment down below like oh what was that weird buzzing sound or whatever it sounds like in the video it is my fan okay I'm wearing a wig it is probably about 18 to 20 degrees because that's kind of been the average temperature temperature what kind of accent was that <laughs> anyway it's hot and because of that I need a fan because this we'll get into this but this is a thick wig my head is very hot so fan needed so I don't die but I want to film this video for you guys okay we good good right anyway now let's move on to the video <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel, it's me, Sarah aka Vocalief, and as you can see, we are doing a week review! Yay! It's been so long since I last did a week review, I used to do quite a lot, and I'm sorry I kind of, because I kind of had like a wig review hiatus. I did buy a few wigs and didn't review them, but I may do like a wig collection video at some point if you are interested in the wigs that I did buy in this little hiatus and didn't review, but most of them I will be rebuying some other wigs from like the same kind of stars and I will be doing fan reviews for those and if there are any wig stars that you'd like me to check out please leave it down in the comments below because I love finding really nice new stars to check out. Let's just get on to the review. I won't ramble on too much because I know you're not too fussed about all that stuff you're just here to find out about Butchered Boutique and this beautiful wig. <laughs> As you can tell, this wig is from Butchered Boutique, which I believe is a UK star. I got this wig, as you all can see, and this is the Leech Bride. Leech Bride? Le leech, 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 leech Bride? I'll put a Leech Bride? I don't know how to say that. Anyway, so as you can tell, it is a lace front synthetic kind of mid bob length. I haven't had a wig this length and it's very nice. I just want to say that right now. I want a lot more this length and Butcher Boutique do have quite a few different colours of wigs in this kind of like style and length. So I may be getting some more at some point. We'll talk about how lace fronts are not the cheapest. However, even though they're not like you know, extremely affordable. Butchered Boutiques are one of the most affordable websites I've found for lace fronts. If you are a subscriber to my channel and you saw my Fluttershy makeup video, that was also a lace front synthetic wig that I got from Light in a Box. And I was searching everywhere for like a cheap lace front because I wanted to get into lace fronts but I was scared because lace fronts are quite expensive and I want to buy an expensive one and then like mess it up because you could have cut the lace yourself and all this stuff. Oh, it, was, it was scary. I don't know if anyone else f felt intimidated with lace fronts when they first got them, but I was. So I got that one from Lie in the Box and I think that one was like 42 or like maybe late 30s. It might have been like 38 pounds or something like that. Anyway, it was ridiculously cheap. And yes, it's not the best quality. It's okay and I really like it, but I d will need to find a higher quality pastel pink lace front wig if you have any recommendations again leave them down below i would really appreciate it but again nothing like ridiculous <laughs> expensive because if you didn't know lace fronts can like be over like a hundred pounds which i don't have that money to spend on a wig as much as i love wigs and i've got like a decent i would say like an okay-ish wig collection this i think was the most expensive wig i've bought so far and it was a treat it was like I got this with Easter money. <laughs> I put that with a bit of my own savings and I got this. Because, talking about price, <laughs> I got this on sale. Basically, I'm a little confused about how the website worked. because so I went on it today to double check like what the original price was because I looked at how much I paid for it and I was like, that was on sale but I can't remember how much was on sale for. So, basically, on Butchered Boutiques, you'll see there's two sections for wigs by now and wait and save. Basically what I think I've gathered, because I think when I bought this there wasn't many in the wait and save category, they've got a lot more wigs now. I'm just giving you my insight on what I've learned from this website so you don't do what kind of I wish I would have done, basically. Okay, so if you want to get the wig now, like right now, it will be around about, around about the £65 uh, bracket which again is still 
relatively cheap. I find that like lace fronts on other websites can like be around 70 to 80 pounds. So six in like 60 range is still pretty cheap for a lace front. And if I remember, I think most of their wigs are lace fronts. I think. But basically, this was on Get It Now and originally around about £65. I can't remember because it's not on the Get It Now at the moment, this style. You can't get it on the Get It Now bit. But this was like a sale for only ones that were on Get It Now. But I like that. Okay. So, <laughs> I got this wig for £52. Yay! Yay! I am very happy with that price. I was very happy with the sale. I think it was like 20% off or something. It was like a UK code. There was like an international sale and then there was like a UK sale, which again is why I think it's a UK store. And another reason why I think it's a UK store is if you get it now, they literally mean get it now. I'm rechecking my own notes. It arrived in four days. I kind of regretted that because what I did was I was actually back at my mom's for Easter and I ordered it and I sent it here to my student accommodation because I thought oh it'll take weeks and I don't want it to arrive at my mom's when I get here. I didn't think it was gonna take that fast so I really wish that I'd like got it to go to my mom's so I could have won in the Easter holidays because once I got back from Easter I had deadlines and then it get, kept getting hotter and hotter and hotter. So this is actually the first time I've worn this wig. <laughs> I've not had the chance to wear it again why I need the fan because I want to wear this wig okay let me wear it I you know I got it now but really I could have waited and saved because I haven't had the chance to wear this but I was not aware of this so what I'm saying is they're great prices anyway and you get it really fast however if you can wait and the wig you want is in the wait and save you can get it for 47 pounds and if you're in the UK I, I'm gonna guess wait and save is gonna be the same as get it now but i did not get charged any uh post and packaging i believe i'm pretty sure it was free postage and packaging and the 52 pounds was just for the wig so if you're paying 47 pounds no post and packaging hopefully for such a nice lace front wig that you might have to wait i don't know what the waiting time is it might be like a few months or something i don't know they might it might be like a pre-order thing but if i knew it was gonna get so goddamn hot and I wouldn't really be able to wear my wig until like the summer, like when I go home, because I live up north. And I don't know if this is a normal thing, but I feel like it's a lot hotter down here than it is back at home. So I'm hoping maybe I can wear this more when I go home and it'll be a bit cooler. I'm hoping that's why I can't deal with this heat because I'm a northerner. Winter is coming, I'm used to the cold. <laughs> so price is amazing in my personal opinion. Like I said, I was looking around everywhere for my pink lace front wig to get like a relatively cheap one and I found that like 40 to 50 was kind of like, that was like the cheaper range but then I did manage to get like a ridiculously cheap one. <laughs> but usually they are around about like 60 to 90 range and then if you get like the really good ones it's like 100, 100 plus kind of. So we've discussed all my notes. Um, now I'm off script. Ah! Anyway, so yeah, the price is really good. Like, I am a bit pissed off that I could have saved myself a fiver. You're probably saying, you're probably thinking, Sarah, it's a fiver. That's not that much of a big deal. But I mean, it kind of is. It's like a pot of hair dye. So just saying, if you can wait, I think that is a very good deal. If you can just, like, if you don't need it right there and then. But if you do need it, right there and then it came in four days I just <laughs> so yes that's that part the kind of like service price kind of the general butchered boutique review now I'm gonna go on to more like specific wig review so again if I ever do any more properly butchered boutique reviews I probably will direct people back to this video just so you can like watch that whole bit about the shop so I don't have to repeat all that every time I order from this shop unless things change but anyway now we're gonna go on to the actual wig like I said this is called like leech leech bride light bride I don't know but it's clearly something aquatic aquatic Yes, watery themed. Uh, I was a little worried when I first saw it. When I first picked it up and it looked a bit more teal than I was expecting. On that picture to me it looked a bit more like a very bluey turquoise and then when I picked it up I was like ah it's more teal 
but I would say it's a very yeah I think the, their picture is very quite I'll uh, put in their picture here you can compare if you would like I think it's quite accurate I love this like it's not a natural root it's just like a, a I've tried to do this with my actual hair in the past, like have a dark blue root with a lighter blue in the main colour. It's harder than you think, <laughs> just saying. So uh, this is like, I finally get the hair that I want, but I do love it. It's so weird, if you know me, I've had blue hair like so many times, I go back to blue so many times. But I've said to myself, I'm not dyeing my hair blue, and then I suddenly realised I don't have any blue wigs. Shock horror, like what the hell, <laughs> it's like my favourite hair colour and I didn't have any blue wigs. So, I got this, obviously, and I do, I love the shade, as you can see, it's shiny, but not as a, like, I am a plastic wig shine, does that make sense? It's like glossy, it's like how my hair will never shine, because it's dead, but, um, <laughs> I can live vicariously through this one, I can just pretend this is my hair. Anyway, as I mentioned, when it arrived, it came in its own little plastic bag, as usual. It had tissue, it had the very thin net around it to hopefully stop it from tangling when in the post. I kind of was like, oh, let's talk about the wig. And then I was like, oh wait, didn't talk about the packaging. It came in. This is really... Like, I haven't done a wig review in so long. I apologize, I forgot my entire structure of how I do things. And then I thought I'll try and do things slightly different because you know I'm an evolving, changing human being. The, as I said, is a lace front, and you'll see in these clips that I filmed before plunking it on my head that the lace front is extremely long, so you can do whatever you want with it. And it came like down here. My cheaper lace front, the lace only came to like here, but with this one, it came to like, it goes like around the like ear part so I would presume that is a quality of a higher quality of a higher quality wig yeah 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 more lace sticking to the like lace uh, section of this I would say uh, the only thing I found a bit weird or like annoying even though if I go out wearing my lace front like my pink one I do tend to glue it just because I'm like paranoid <laughs> but I found when I like plunked this on that you have to glue it like I know other lace fronts you can get away sometimes if you just have it tight on your head you don't have to glue it necessarily if you don't think it'll move whereas this I had it tight on my head but it was very loose around the forehead area I think it's because there's this like heart hairline the this part is like like the rest of it was tight but then this bit was like loose and i don't think i glued it on the best either but i'm still learning this is only my second lace front guys okay <laughs> let me uh make mistakes and grow for them okay but yeah so that's one of the only like downsides is you can't just plunk this wig on like i presume most lace fronts because my cheaper lace front also included this and so a wig that I have which is not a lace front also has uh, these like clip things I believe this one just has two at the sides and one at the back and that's the money so I'm gonna talk about the volume of hair and sequentially this is a heavy wig <laughs> for the length it's heavy I've got wigs which can go down to my waist and they're quite heavy and maybe it's just because I haven't worn a wig in such a long time but it is quite heavy as you just saw in like some of my uh other clips put it on my wig head say hi to my wig head my wig head is on me i have two wig heads would you like to name my wig head i have a wig head for here and i have a wig head bleh, wig head at home if you'd like to name my wig head leave me in the comments down below but anyway when i put it on my wig head i did the sensible thing you do and pin it on so it doesn't slide off but what, what, what kept happening wig head oh yes that is what happened the, the, the wig was so heavy and because it's short so it's not like with my other wigs if it's that long you can like brush the hair forward so you're making more of the hair like balance like there's the weight here and then there's the weight here and it's so, yeah but because this is so short everything is at the back 
So my wig head just kept going. And if I didn't pin it, I had to pin it like straight away or else the wig was like sliding off the head. So it's not just me, it is a heavy wig for what the length and everything. So from that, I would deduce, and by the way it looks, I would deduce that there is a lot of wefts. I believe that is the correct term. I would like to keep the style. I mean, I think it looked cute straight as well. Plus obviously the curls, I think, are like waves, the more waves, uh, I think would add to like, the weight is all here. Maybe if it's straighter, it would be lighter. But I really like this style. And I'm hoping that when I like wash it and stuff, it'll kind of keep this style. But if anyone knows any good tutorials or anything on how to like style your hair or wigs like this in case it loses this style, I would really appreciate that. I kind of want to get this hairstyle for my own hair, but I don't know how to do this kind of wave. I suck at hairstyling. Maybe that's why I love wigs so much. I don't know. I might continue this, like giving gold stars if you've watched all the way to the end. <laughs> so I ramble and I know my videos can get ridiculously long. I won't ramble about how I ramble. So <laughs> to conclude, butchered boutique sell more affordable, like I wouldn't say like they're cheap, but they are affordable lace front wigs that are high quality and they have a range of nice colours and styles. I really like this wig. I'm hoping I can wear it a lot more in the summer and obviously I will be wearing it a lot more in like autumn and winter. Definitely winter. I think this will like be very much the winter aesthetic. Expect to see me wearing this wig a lot on my channel because I really love it and hopefully in the future I can buy more wigs from Butchered Boutique because like I said they've got some really nice styles and I definitely want to get this in different colours but I wanted blue because I haven't got a blue wig and kind of felt like that was a necessity in my wig collection so I'm really happy I have this in my wig collection and thank you again so much for watching I hope this helped I will be leaving all Butchered Boutique's uh, social medias and websites and all that stuff that I can remember in the description below along with all my social media and everything underneath as well in case you're curious and would like to follow me on stuff that'd be nice it'd be nice to see you guys around I do ask a lot on Instagram like what kind of videos you want to see next like I asked if people were interested in the review of this wig because I felt awkward that I hadn't reviewed any wigs in such a long time so I was scared that maybe you guys didn't want me to do it but you guys did so thank you and that's why this video has been made and I hope people like it I mean you guys kind of asked for it kind, kind of not kind of did but you didn't ask for it to be this long but anyway I'm rambling so I'm gonna go now thank you so much for watching I hope you're having a lovely time whatever time of day it is and I will see you in my next video bye bye I wanted to wear this to the end of year show that we had on Friday because the theme was ocean. Like seriously, how well would it is this wig? Like even my teachers made a joke because they were like, oh, because I was going to dye my hair and they were like, why don't you dye it blue for the show? And I was like, no, I don't dye my hair because of what other people are doing. I dye my hair for me. Also, I was kind of planning on wearing this wig, but again, too hot, too hot. It was like too hot anyway, never mind wearing this wig.